Skanky J, a uh, old college DJ name of mine. I'm actually aggroed, uh, but for this portion uh, of my week, I get to be Skanky J. And the one I'm going to go do right now, I'm going to pull uh, Stacy Jean. Hopefully, she's sitting in the uh, MSP Waves radio or the waiting room. If, uh, if you're interested in being on the show, uh, please just hop into the waiting room. You can also get your name tossed into the list. Go tell Cubby. She's helping to keep track of who's going to come on the show right now. But uh, Stacy, I'm pulling you in. So uh, Stacy, are you there with us? Yes, I'm here. Oh, fantastic. It's wonderful to hear your voice. Uh, I, I, I'm, I dug the last post that you put out there. Um, I don't. We'll see if you want to mention it by name or not. But um, I have been I have been checking in on your wall, and um, I'm glad that you got some strong feelings about this place and that it it's helping you out. It uh, quite literally brought a tear to my eye. So uh, glad to have you on the show again. Glad to have you here. Uh, I think you're quite brave, and uh, I like having you not only on part of as part of the Minnesota Sport Project, but also specifically on this radio show. So. Hopefully you make this a pattern. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I'm happy to be here. And uh, yeah, that was really hard to put out. So I just kind of put it out and then um, I'm probably going to check on it tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah. So what, what brings you on tonight? What's the hope? What do you, uh, what, what's the topic of the so evening? Tonight, um, this is going to be for a dear friend of mine. He's like a brother to me, uh, Saipan Damashi. Uh, his name is Calvin Rodeo. Yeah, and I saw this he too. He lost a very precious person in his life. So I'm going to go ahead and share the link. Yeah, go ahead. Please do. I, I re-steamed it already. Otherwise, I'd do it now. But yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I sent my condolences in there. I can see Saipan is on the show. Uh, Saipan, uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, you know, my, my mom passed away when I was 15 or when she was 59. Um, so that was quite young in my brain. Uh, and I know how hard this can be. So I don't envy you in the slightest. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry for your loss. Same here. Um, condolences, Saipan. And I, I, this is very near and dear to my heart because I just recently um, lost a uh, mother-in-law. And, you know, I didn't, she was a woman of very few words, but, you know going to her funeral and saying my final goodbyes, it really, it really helps, I want to say. And that's why I want to put, um, shine a light on Saipan's um, goal to go see, go see her one final time, you know, that to get that in. And, you know, I have high hopes, but if it doesn't happen, just know that, you know, she, she can hear you and, you know that that's just a sorry if i'm stumbling through my words i'm i'm not feeling like myself tonight yeah well you know but... th these are challenging times and i think that the the message of um sending some love waves his way and uh trying to be a friend and supportive I, I, i'm hoping that he'll get that i'm assuming that that's a easy enough one to get even when uh part of the world feels like it might be crashing in on you so yeah, like I, I have social anxiety and, and this is like so difficult for me, but like um, he requested it and I'm just like, I have to do this. I have to be brave and it's really pushed me out of my comfort zone and I'm I'm just so proud of him for putting it out there and letting everybody know his sorrow. That's that's so difficult. That's that's one of the most difficult things for me. Um. I don't mean to, hopefully this doesn't come off as trite, but one of my favorite uh, Star Trek episodes is where uh, Worf is going through one of his ceremonies and he is like reciting uh, poetry while getting tased by like giant cattle prods. And just that sort of warrior poet mentality uh, and sort of being in the, the thick of things. Uh, and I, I love this most recent Mad Max where they're, you know, the war boys are jumping out of their vehicles and screaming, witness me. And I feel like, you know, sometimes, sometimes even at our worst, uh, that when like the, the, the worst of the world is around us, we are in the midst of some of the, the most heinous shit. If we can just pause for a second to go lift our head up and say, you know what, but I'm still here. I'm still functioning. Witness me, witness me doing this. 
you know, uh, I've certainly had enough of my own hard times to, to recognize um, if you can pause and take a breath and just um, give yourself a little, um, give yourself a little push for getting through what you're going through. Cause this world seems designed to, to make it hard on us. That seems the intent. Yeah, definitely. I feel that very much. And like, it's all about suppressing your emotions and whatnot. And, and here Saipan goes just pouring his heart out in every post that he makes, you know, it's very um, inspiring. And yeah, if, if people can click on that post and support in any way possible, you know, I know not everybody has like the funds, but you know, there's power in, in re-steaming. There really is. Well, um, I know this can be tricky for you. If um, I, I think I'd like to keep this one short and keep moving on with the show. We, we've been heard. This has been put out there. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to keep this in the space too too much longer. Uh, in part because I want to respect his privacy, and you know he he gets to have this out here. We can go support him. Um, and I know that you're having a challenging time too. So let's call it at this, uh, Stacy. Stacy, thank you for coming on to the show. Thank you for supporting your friend. Um, Saipan, we're here with you, man. Like, uh, for those of us that have been through the loss of one that helped raise us or helped bring us up, we know what it's like. So all I can say is chin up. It's going to suck. And um, I can't tell you that it gets a lot easier even 10 years later because it's still I still find myself balling at times. But um you know, we're lucky to have the love that we have and receive that from really high quality people that have uh, given a lot to us. So, um, you know, this is a pretty hard delta to compare against to see all that love at once and now it's gone. But hopefully that just helps keep you in perspective of how much of a wonderful person she was and how grateful you can be for the experience and the time that you had. And to the best of my knowledge, that's the best we can do with a shitty situation like this. But uh, over time, I'm sure you'll find a way to find peace with this and uh, take those lessons on because you seem like a, a bright, charming young man that she would truly be proud of. All right. Yes, I, I tell him he he's her legacy. So, yeah, thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to um, I'm going to move. I'm going to move Stacy out of here. I'm going to go um, play another song. So let me go uh, pause the recording again.